I know among all people who are homeless that there are a variety of risk factors that affect everyone, including veterans. Mental illness and substance abuse among that individual, first and foremost. Within the family, physical and mental abuse as a child in the family is a, is a high risk factor. Incarceration, if you have a family member who's incarcerated and you're growing up as a child, it becomes a risk factor as well. Obviously, lack of employment uh, becomes a very significant factor. Sometimes it's hard to tell which comes first and which comes later, but what we do know is that generally speaking, when you're talking about veterans who are homeless, they fall into a category where they have mental health issues. About half of the veterans that we see in homeless programs have a diagnosable mental illness problem, either depression, bipolar disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, or something like that. The overwhelming majority of the veterans that we see in our programs, but again, I want to remind you that our programs are really designed for that veteran who needs a health care intervention. About 75 percent of the veterans we see in homeless programs have a substance abuse disorder. They're either drinking too much, they're taking drugs uh, uh, not consistent with the way the drugs are to be provided or not taking uh, prescribed medications. Those factors, those two factors, mental health and substance abuse, are significantly what drives them in uh, and makes them literally homeless. What contributed to that may be all those other factors uh, of childhood situation, long deployments, combat, other kinds of things that have come along the way. It's sort of when does the point tip? When do you tip over? I mean.